Hey Fingsters, welcome to the fundamentals of PyCharm. Now before discussing about PyCharm, let us address some of the most commonly asked questions by Python beginners. Please feel free to skip this part if you already know what an IDE and a text editor is. Now a common question asked by most Python beginners is what environment should I prefer while programming in Python? A simple answer to that is you can either use an IDE or a text editor. You need an IDE or a text editor for writing and modifying your code. We have a plethora of choices when it comes to text editors and IDEs. However, some of them are more popular than the others, majorly because of their ease of use and the features that they provide. Some commonly used text editors are Sublime Text, Atom, Vim, Visual Studio and Notepad++. While some commonly used or most widely used IDEs especially for coding in Python are PyCharm, Idle, Spider, PyDev, Wing and so on. Now that brings us to our next question. Should we use an IDE or a text editor? Now this is one of the most debated questions among programmers. Personally, I prefer using an IDE over text editors. The reason being, IDEs provide numerous advantages over a simple text editor. Now you might argue that an IDE can be used as a text editor and a text editor can also be used as an IDE with the help of plugins. However, strictly speaking, a text editor is used for writing or modifying a text or a piece of code. Whereas an IDE or an integrated development environment enables us to do a lot more within a single program like running the code, debugging the code, version control and so on. So we can say an IDE or an integrated development environment which is the full form for an IDE can be considered as a programming tool that integrates several specialized tools into a cohesive environment. These specialized tools may include a text editor, a code autocomplete function, a build procedure that includes a compiler, a debugger, a file or a project manager, a performance profiler, a deployment tool and so on. Therefore, it makes more sense to use an IDE instead of using a text editor. In order to use a text editor like an IDE, you must install numerous plugins so that it behaves the way an IDE does. But all of that is already taken care of by an IDE without the need of extra plugins. Though we have plugins for implementing different functionalities within an IDE. However, most of the functions that a developer needs within a project are already covered by the inbuilt tools within an IDE. Now having said that, the most commonly used and preferred IDE for Python programmers is PyCharm. PyCharm was developed by a company known as JetBrains which is quite famous for building or developing various IDEs like IntelliJ IDEA, Android Studio and many more which you can see on the screen. Now if you are using an old computer then for sure I would not suggest 
you to use PyCharm. However, if you have a good enough system, then PyCharm should be your choice if you are starting to code in Python. I'll tell you why in a while. However, before that, please have a look on the screen. This is how a PyCharm project looks. Now everything in PyCharm works within a project. That means if you have Python files or modules or libraries that you want to import, all of them come under a project. Now as you can see on the screen, the part right up there is known as the menu bar or the toolbar wherein you can navigate through various options which are required for executing your code. Now the area depicted by the red rectangle is known as the project panel. This is the area where you can see a structured view of all the files and folders within your project or your main project directory. So you can consider that the project is your root directory and within it you have numerous files and other directories which are required for the purpose of coding. The area covered by the yellow rectangle is the code editor. This is the part where you write your code. And finally, we have the output window or the console. This is where you get your output. That is when you run your code or you execute your code. This is the area where you get to see your output. Do not worry. This is just an overview. I will definitely go into each functionality one by one in the later videos but this is just an overview and I want you to have a good look on the screen as of now so that when you look into the actual environment of PyCharm, you are already aware of the things that are available within it. Now this brings us to a question, why PyCharm? Now there are lots of IDEs that we can use for the purpose of coding in Python. But why do we select PyCharm? The answer to this is quite simple. PyCharm has a lot of special features which makes it more efficient than most other IDEs. It has intelligent Python assistance which provides you smart code completion features, code inspections, on the fly error highlighting and quick fixes, automated code refactoring and rich navigation facilities. Then you have web development environments offered by PyCharm and it supports most modern web development frameworks such as Django, Flask, Google App Engine, Pyramid and so on. It also provides us with numerous scientific tools. For example, PyCharm integrates with IPython Notebook and has an interactive Python console and supports Anaconda as well as multiple scientific packages including Matplotlib and NumPy. In addition to Python, PyCharm supports JavaScript, CoffeeScript, TypeScript, Cython, SQL, HTML, CSS, and so on. Therefore, we can safely say that it can be used for cross-technology development. PyCharm also offers us numerous remote development capabilities with PyCharm, you can run, debug, test and deploy applications on remote hosts or virtual environments with remote interpreters and integrated SSH. Finally, PyCharm also offers us numerous built-in developer tools. For example, an integrated debugger 
and test runner which we will be covering in the later half of this course. It offers us a Python profiler, a built-in terminal. It integrates with major version control systems which we shall also cover in the later half of this course and it also provides us numerous built-in database tools. Now I hope you have enough reasons why you should be using PyCharm as your go-to IDE when it comes to Python. Before wrapping up this video, let us have a look at the additions of PyCharm that are available for use. So PyCharm is available in three editions, the community edition, which is open source and can be majorly used by individuals who are programming or using PyCharm for personal development. While we also have a professional edition, which is paid and majorly used by teams or large organizations. Now, if you are a starter, then the educational edition, which is also an open source and free edition of PyCharm can prove to be quite valuable to you. However, in this course, we are going to use the community edition, which is an open source and free edition and use it accordingly in this course. Now that was enough for this video. I'll soon help you to install PyCharm in your system. However, before that, I want to give you a brief idea about how the PyCharm environment actually looks, about the features and the advantages that PyCharm provides us. So in the next video, we are going to have a quick look at those features and advantages of PyCharm and then we shall begin our course right away by installing PyCharm in our system. So if you have time, please join me in the next video.